Hello, my name is Brown Weiss and welcome to my channel. I'm here to talk about a specific video. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and I've been thinking about it ever since Union Arena got announced for uh, USEN, right? Um, I've been kind of thinking about like, I don't know what to think about this game. I see the cards in Japanese. We'll see what they do for what Bandai does for the English release. So what I want to talk about is kind of my first impressions of Union Arena and my thoughts on like gameplay, the card look, and kind of what I think of it versus Weiss Wars. So right off the bat, my first first impression was, holy shit, this game has everything I wish Weiss had. Like that, I think that's the thought of like a lot of people that play Weiss Wars. I understand there's a lot of niche stuff that Weiss Wars has that Union Arena doesn't have, especially if you're like an idol fan and stuff like that. You're definitely going to want that more in Weiss Wars, although there is some idol stuff coming over. But there is like 100 girlfriends, you know, that's a big thing that I didn't think Union Arena was marketing towards. But if that comes over to English, you know, Weiss doesn't have that. So maybe those sets that we always wish we had is, are going to go to Union Arena. And um, I want to talk about that because the, the IPs for me is the, the, the biggest like draw to this. We're getting Full Metal Alchemist, uh, One Punch Man. Dude, we, this is Hunter Hunter. We just got Hunter Hunter. This is nuts this is complete insanity the, if why Schwarz said they were going to release a hunter hunter set it would be the biggest set if they announced they're going to have full metal alchemist it would be like one of the biggest sets code geos would be one of the biggest sets. and code geos totally fits in like why Schwarz too like the Ludi and all that stuff like you know out of nowhere for no reason out of pocket Ludi fits why Schwarz's thing and um i don't know why they haven't picked up these ips Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer like for me there's kind of no excuse like you're an anime TCG you, like you need those games so for me like Union Arena is really picking up these big titles and that that, that is the number one draw so going into this I was told that the gameplay wasn't very good and I've seen the cards and a lot of let me pull a common card like these common cards like have these borders this ugly screenshot there's a lot of them are dark these don't look great so i was like oh these look like ugly pokemon cards <laughs> like and pokemon has like cool crisp art and stuff but these are screen grabs on in little boxes and not that weiss is you know <laughs> weiss definitely has you know screenshots into screenshots and stuff so it's not like they're any better but they do do custom art which is nice um so in that department so looks wise, I do have to still get it to to um, Weiss Wars. I think Weiss Wars their cards are hard to beat. This is uh, basically equivalent to an SR right here. This going, it looks cool. It's got Hunter Hunter on it, and here's this Kalua. This is also like kind of equivalent to an SR in Weiss Wars, where you get like this card one per box, and in uh, Weiss Wars it's you know beautiful full arts. But look at this full art. That's a common. And now let's go back. Let me grab this common back here. Look at this Hunter Hunter common. And then look at this Y Schwarz common. Like it's full art. It's much prettier. Um, the common, the base cards look way better in Y Schwarz. Just way better. When you start getting to the higher rarity stuff is when it starts getting a little more competitive. But the base, how the game looks, if you're just a player, Y Schwarz, it looks infinitely better, infinitely cleaner. Um, there's all these like ugly borders. The only cards that I saw that, you know, besides these, these that don't really have the ugly border is this risky dice card that we pulled. The star card is also equivalent to like an SR. The border is like rainbow and it looks freaking sick. So, uh, you know, this, if they do stuff like this, like they can make the border work for it. But overall, the border was kind of whatever. Now, now we're past the looks. Looks wise, it's decent. I got used to it playing it it wasn't too bad you know it's cool to see gone and bisky and you know i'll say this since i've wanted stuff like this in Y schwarz for so long like look Kropika. imagine Kropika and Y schwarz like oh my god gone like dude i've been wanting this so badly in Y schwarz just having a game that plays it is kind of like almost good enough like the fact that i can play these cards and i can play them against people and i can collect them like that fits such a big niche that for me, like, even as just a casual person, as long as this game was decent, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll check this out. 
Now I'm going to talk about the gameplay. <laughs> so I will say gameplay wise, I think why Schwartz has a lot more depth, but I'm going to put a big asterisk on this humongous asterisk on this because why Schwartz has been out for a long time, like over 10 years. So why Schwartz has been able to work out those kinks, add a bunch of mechanics and features and power creep and stuff. So there's a lot of depth to White Schwartz. There's standby, you know, pants, everything kind of has a strategy. You know, even if stuff's still kind of generic, like you can really, if you go back in the catalog, there's a lot of different strategies and skills and sets and it has this rich history. So it's hard to compare that complexity that they've built over years and learning and banning and everything that they've done to a newer game. You know, this game, I will say it is fun. It is a lot of fun, but it is definitely more of a casual game. I could see why people complain about it. So if you don't know, when you play Union Arena, you have this energy line. You have these AP, which are like action points, which is how many actions you can take per turn, basically. And there's ways to untap them and stuff like that. But for the most part, this game is who has the bigger body? Who's the bigger body? You know, there are cards that remove stuff, there's removal, there's like interaction stuff, but there's no like counters, you know, and why Schwarz, you know, people make fun of that there's not too much counterplay, but there's, there's quite a bit like, you know, anti-change and stuff like that. There's a way to really like deny board and a cool thing about Weiss is you don't have to win board to win this game. In Union Arena, you kind of have to win board. If you just have a really big guy that's bigger than your opponents, like you kind of just win. <laughs> there's ways around it and you can tack multiple times and there's like little strategy there. For the most part, it's who has the bigger guy and who has more of the bigger guys and who can sequence it better. And that's kind of like what the game feels like it's boiled down to. I haven't gotten too in-depth into it. I haven't played too much of the like competitive side to it. But as someone who's played fairly competitive Weiss Wars and is into like top-tier decks and stuff like that. I'm not the best Weiss Wars player in the world, but I've played enough and played so many decks that um i could say that the the complexity and stuff is definitely there now we'll see what, how union arena grows how it bans you know in a few years how it is but i will say the gameplay now is decent it's solid it's fun and if you're a new player it's really fun and it's a good way to get out of the weiss wars like um like it's kind of a good detox <laughs> game because it's a lot simpler um you, you move your guys around you attack you kind of have to sequence like how you play stuff and either your whole energy line thing which i thought was going to be a little too complicated in the beginning for newer players but it was it was actually not too bad i picked it up very quickly my girlfriend picked it up very quickly we had a lot of people who never played card games pick it up so it i will say it is really good for like introducing people into a card game which is great for casuals so i will say like gameplay wise this is a great game for casual players it's got like some of the best <laughs> casual like cards like new like these hunter hunter like that's that's nuts so i don't know if i'm gonna go competitive with this but this is a fun game one of the fate my favorite things was the pre-release so for pre-release what they did was you got you did you got one of these like cool like little pre-release cards right um i also did the bleach one i'm not the biggest bleach fan but um I did get some cool, like, Bleach Little One Stars and stuff. Sorry, I'm getting, like, totally ADD and off topic, but just the Bleach bleach was cool, too. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But um, the coolest thing about pre-release was the format. You get five packs. This is super RNG. If you pull really good, you pull really good. You throw it all together. The color doesn't matter. And you get to just play those five packs. And I think that's so cool that they kind of balance it a little bit for it. Because, uh, I mean, some people did get some OP cards and stuff. But... Overall, I felt pretty balanced, like <laughs> like playing against each other. It's cool that you have a format, like maybe it's not perfectly balanced and whatever, but at least you can do that and play against each other and it works. And it's so fun and it makes it feel like opening boxes have more value than just, oh, did I pull the shiny one that I want or not? You know what I mean? So be able to like buy a box with like a friend and then you can just open up five packs and just play each other. It was so awesome. Like me and my girlfriend did that earlier today and it was just it was so much fun just to open and to see what we got and then just to play and see what happens. And then afterwards, since we had we took our pre-release, that, that box, and now this box that I just opened in my past video, um, we're going to play together and stuff and see what we can build. There's not a lot of people selling stuff. Uh, next week is, I think, the official release. So I'm just, it's pretty wild. Um, 
this game and like how fun that was like you don't have like limited formats in wax so for me this is where like union has like a big advantage i can go buy a box of union and play with weiss wars i'm getting to the point with weiss where it's like i just want to buy play sets um if you saw i didn't do like a shaka no Goshana video and stuff like that because i just bought play sets like why am i going to buy a box rip it open and spend all this money like yeah it's fun and i like doing boxing videos and it's fun to open packs and stuff right but when you sometimes there's some sets that like i'm not big enough a fan to drop that much money to just open a bunch of boxes and i just want to play it and um when it comes to like union arena like you get more value out of your boxes like if i could open up like a box of shauna and me and my girlfriend could play against each other it would get her more into the set. Like her playing these cards made her be like, Ooh, uh, I don't have this card, but I want to do it. Like me, I was like, Ooh, Kalua, he's cool, but he needs these, what are these specified slot cards? And then like, I started just deck building off of that. And she's like, Oh, I want this card phantom troop. Ooh, very cool. And she started building a phantom troop deck. And just that simplicity and being able to just play that and do all that. Like I just, that, that was so much fun and her being just able to pick up and play and do these strategies and stuff is so much better because you're playing with all these random cards and you can pick what cards you like and stuff like that. And it just kind of gets you into playing the actual Union Arena game. Now, I don't know how this is going to do in the future. I don't know how Bandai is going to support this. And it looks like they're really pushing it. So future-wise, I it's a big question mark. I do like that they added signatures to sets that didn't. This card technically doesn't exist in the JP version. I mean, it does as promo. But, like, they added it to the set to help boost the uh, Hunter Hunter set, which I think is super sick. And this is something where, like, Weiss doesn't do this. Like, if anything, Weiss will give you an inferior product in English. Like, they will give you not signatures or they'll, they'll cut stuff. And sometimes they don't give you promos that are make your deck really powerful. And it'd be nice if they just included it in the set or added it as a box topper, or added it as a shop promo. Like, they don't do stuff. Like, the way Bandai supporting this game it's so freaking cool, and I've never seen Weish Wars just care. And it really feels like Bandai cares a lot more than Weiss, which is pretty wild. <laughs> so I'll say overall, these AP cards, they're fun. Where is it? Like you can, um, where did I put my decks? Here you go. Let me show you two of them. Like they're fun. They're not the coolest things. There's some foil ones that are worth a lot. Um, but these are cool. They're fun. They're interesting. And, um, uh, I really like where these can go. Like these can be cool full art stuff. They could do cool foil stuff. They could do promo stuff. I like that none of the promos are really unique. And I don't know if Bandai will stick to that. <laughs> but that's one of my biggest gripes about Weiss Wars is they'll make really hard to get promos. Like one of them was like uh, the Licorice Recoil promo. Where's my Licorice Recoil deck? There's a promo in here. Like, you had to go to, like, a full-on tournament. This B BSF, you had to go to Springfest to get a refresh counter. That's a card that you really need. The most, you know, egregious one was the Bisky one. Or not Bisky, uh, what's her name? Bridget, sorry. I'm all in Hunter Hunter mode because <laughs> I just filmed the Hunter Hunter video. But but Bridget promo for my Guilty Gear deck. And it really sucks that, like, I'd spent 100 bucks for a card that, like, they just made. And they didn't add to the set. And they didn't make like a shop promo version that maybe looked uglier, was a different character or something, but you functionally can't play that effect. And that, that really sucks. And I hope Bandai doesn't go that route. I don't know how they do their other games. I haven't really played One Piece and stuff like that. But overall, game is solid. It looks good. It gives me high hopes. And I really hope this pushes Bushiro to fix a lot of those issues I brought up during this thing that, that, that they don't do, like making the English set better, learning from the Japanese side. And then selling it again, but with a little bit better adding foils, adding new foils that don't exist or like, or like promos and stuff. And, you know, just adding new cards to the set to help power it up. Like imagine Sy Sykono came out, but they actually added extra cards. It would have helped boost sales or maybe like a set that we know is going to be weak. Like add some um to it. Like there's a lot of talking to these stores when I was talking about how I played Weiss. Um, a lot of them like, oh yeah, we dropped it. Or it seemed too complicated, or they didn't release anything after. Like a lot, a lot of people, they're like, "Oh, that that's the game that had Attack on Titan," and that's all they know. And then they're like, "Oh, they had Avatar. Oh, they had JoJo. Oh, JoJo's coming out." They they were so confused 
about like that Weiss had all these extra sets and nobody knew about them. Nobody knew about them, but they knew about Union Arena. And for me, the promotion, everything, like Weiss really, I really hope this kicks Weiss butt and shows them that they need to step it up because it really sucks. It really sucks. It feels like they don't care. It really feels like Bushiro doesn't care. Now, I will say in JP, we just got that JP conference. That JP conference gave me a lot of hope. Like, we got a lot of titles, a lot of big titles. You're sure, we didn't get 100 Girlfriends, Sugar Law, and Rebirth still stealing titles and stuff like that, right? Rebirth meme for days, right? But at least it gave me hope that Weiss is putting more effort into these titles. We got a lot of titles that were kind of meh, kind of whatever. Like, yeah, is Ayakashi Triangle. Like, it's a fun anime, don't get me wrong. But it's not Hunter. It's not FMA. It's not Kogias. It's not any of these big enemies. It's not even like 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 Kaiju number eight would be really cool. Shangri La Frontier, Hundred Girlfriends, like a lot of these like newer anime could be really cool. Spice and Wolf, like there's so much stuff that they could be doing that would just up it. But I will say we'll see what Bushy Road responds to this and what they do. Um, but overall, I think this is good competition. I think this is good competition. I think it's gonna sell outsell Weish Wars um for the for the next couple months this is gonna just outsell it completely now if they can keep this momentum going i don't know people might drop it people might forget it. a lot of people were like i'll play when fma comes out i'll play when one punch man comes out i'll play when these certain sets come out and maybe they'll lose interest by then who knows but we'll see it just it's one of those things where we're just gonna have to see what happens my opinions of the game try it it's a lot of fun the trial deck the, the not trial deck it's fun it's uh starter deck <laughs> starter deck a lot of fun really cool like playing against each other it's a great way to start um unlike weiss it gives you a lot of four ofs and stuff and it's a decent like deck and it kind of gives you like raids and stuff and um one deck will kind of suffice like you can just play one deck and it's pretty decent you can buy a second deck to get like four of copies of like these so it is kind of like wise for you. you have to buy two for like your big raid cards but um I will say, functionally, these are play out more like, um, I would say, um, how would I say it, like newer trial decks. Like old trial decks were really terrible in Weiss, and the these trial decks play better than like the old trial decks of Weiss. But there's not as good as like you know like free run trial deck and stuff like that. But I will say this is a lot simpler. Like I can show somebody this and they can learn and pick it up and this could be a decent power level and like they can play with somebody and I could teach my girlfriend like I taught her and she picked it up really quickly and stuff like that. Whereas if I gave a new player a free run trial deck, they're going to be like, oh my God, there's so many effects. I don't understand. Oh, it's, it's going to be too much. It's so hard to show somebody with the trial deck. I mean, and that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> like that's a whole other can of worms of like trial decks not being the best introductory product, even though that's what it should be. Whereas this, this is a great introductory product. This will get you in the game. Even the uh, five packs and stuff like that. That 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 was decent enough, and a lot of people could learn and do off of that. And that's fun because you get a bunch of cards. Like here, you only get the Gone stuff. But what if you like the Phantom Troop? The five packs thing, you get like Phantom Troop stuff. You get random stuff. So overall, like I think Union Arena has more to offer with its like limited gameplay, and then with its um like its regular gameplay. <laughs> I guess you'd say it's standard play play. Like, there's no limited options for uh, for Weiss. So, I, I think I'm rambling too much. I'm kind of going back and forth and uh, and everything. But all I want to say is, we're let's see what happens with with Weiss. Let's see what happens with with Union Arena. I have high hopes for new Union Arena. Check it out. Play it. It's a lot of fun. Um, you're you're gonna hear a lot of people say a lot of different things, but really go out there and really try it out. I saw so many people of like different just you know oh i play Yu-Gi-Oh! i play this i've never played a card game and they all had so much fun and at the end of the day we all became fans of union arena i'm a big fan i'm gonna be making more union arena content um it's not i'm still gonna make white shores content i'm not like oh union arena dot channel but um there's a lot of big sets uh i'm gonna be doing kogias i'm gonna be doing um what, what's next oh jujitsu kaisen like bro jujitsu kaisen is coming to union arena like that's so cool. dude like i would die oh my god it'd be so cool if we could get jujitsu kaisen in white shorts but that's never gonna happen and, that, and that's the that's that's the big problem and that's the appeal so here we go union mm -hmm. arena it's a good card game check it out it's awesome and i hope to see you around and i'll be making more union arena content but also white shorts content i'm still mainly a white shorts channel 
But this card game is very cool, and I very like it, and it's very awesome. So, see you around. Peace.